Hey guys, welcome back to our third and last video of our room database series. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to implement delete and update function to our Android app. So with this video, we will end our room DB series. This will be the last video of this series. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So the very first thing we're going to do is we need to add a button into our main activity. So let us just quickly do that. I'll just go to design mode and here we'll take a vertical divider line. Right. We'll constrain it to parent on both sides. and we'll set its visibility to invisible right because we do not want to make it visible of course and we'll constrain this button here yeah and we need another button to update our data we'll constrain the drop to this right data button and we'll constrain the horizontally with this one this divider and parent right we'll give it a id button underscore update and the text needs to be changed okay that was all we need to do in the front end part and now we'll just go to our DAO so here you can see for the delete we have this function but for updating we need to add another query so I'll just write it down query and as we want to update the data so update the name of the table and then we're going to mention set we'll set the first name right don't worry about this error it will just go in a while and we want to update the last name as well and here we want to use where row number like okay this is the method the update method right so here we'll get three arguments the first name last name and roll number so with the roll number we know that which entry we want to modify and we want to replace the first name and the last name so here we have used this query update the table right we have just written the name of the table then we use set what we want to set what all values we want to update so we want to update the first name last name where roll number is equal to the roll number that has been passed as an argument to this method right so this is pretty much everything i guess we need to do in DAO. we need to add this query so we'll just go to our main activity so first thing we will implement our delete operation so binding dot button delete all oops dot set on click list now So definitely we are going to use coroutines so global scope dot launch and we'll refer to our db so app db dot student dot dot delete all right so you want to delete that is everything we need to do for deleting for the delete operation to be implemented and now we are going to implement our update operation so same binding why it's not getting that mistake i guess there it was okay it has not been changed done it should work now button update dot get on click listener so whenever user tap on this button we want to call the method 
update data that we are just going to create here right so yeah this is the function so the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to capture all these three values that is being uh, entered by the user so i'll just copy this code only right because it's the same code and i guess i'll copy all of it right we'll just do some changes because it's almost similar to the right data method but few changes needs to be done so okay and we do not want this right we'll check if the values are not empty then we want to call the update method not the insert method because we want to update the data and what all needs to be passed so the first name last name roll number dot to int right we want to convert the string to integer then we want to clear all the fields and we will just raise a toast successfully updated and else please enter the data i guess it should work fine so yeah what we have done in update data we have captured all the values we have checked if all the values are not empty and then inside the coroutines and the scope of that is io because it's an input output operation right so we have called the update query update method from a student DAO. we have passed the first name last name and rule number right and then we have just cleared the fields raise a tools those are normal things so this is the main line of code that will work to update the entry right so let me just quickly install this app to my emulator and see if all the things are working fine or not right so okay so the app has been installed to the emulator now let me just open this app inspection and i guess the process has been selected and let us just write the value first right we have to write some value so I'll just enter my name okay okay the data has been written so okay there are two entries uh the first one and the last one and the roll number for the first entry is one only right i'll set it to live update and let's just try to update the first entry right so i'll change it to oliver johnson and the roll number for the first entry is one so we have to enter the same roll number because then only it will identify which value to update so we'll change the first and last name for this entry let's check if it is working fine or not okay oliver johnson right changed so let's just change the second value as well the roll number for that is 32 so just 32 let me change this to sachin right update data update it right now let us just try to delete all the data okay all the data has been deleted so i guess we have successfully implemented these two functions into our android application and with this video we have learned how to implement write data how to create the schema with room db right then how to implement all the four operations read write update and delete right so i guess now with by watching all these three videos the concept about room db has been cleared from my side and you guys have understood the code right but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on screen right now and if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos and the link for the source code of this tutorial will be there in the description below you can check out the source code so that is pretty much everything from my side in this video see you in another video bye